I was correct. What's up, everybody? Today, we're going to do something completely different, completely new. We're going to review a whole record, not in its entirety, because it's going to take 50 minutes, but we're going to have summaries of every song. And the best way to start is with a very interesting persona, a very interesting artist called Vincent Polk. Now, who is Vincent Polk? Vincent Polk, a New York uh, native, is an acclaimed yeah, we can say folk musician whose music is inspired by, you know, a lot of legends, Bob Dylan, even Elvis Presley, Tom Waits, Randy Newman and a few others that returned to his passion called music after a longer hiatus. In 2008, he started to take guitar lessons again and worked on his first record. He just released his fourth record called Masquerade. Oh yeah, it literally is the mirror of the society, especially the Americans, uh, here we go, New York right there, in which Americans are living in, and especially last week and the weeks before. And after releasing that record, targeting the politics, the political situation, of course, the pandemic and anything else, he just, now release number five called The Unknown. Oh, yeah. Happy start right away. Look at the cover of him Use sitting the there with the guitar. Said, that's what my mama said. Yeah. Keep that bad boy busy. All right, right away, a very interesting start and first transition to a more of a chaotic um, style. Uh, well, not bad chaotic, just very interesting chaotic. Let's continue. Coming, ready or not. Don't know when, don't know what. Yeah. Rise and shine, be your own best friend. And, and. Use it or lose it. Don't you talk back to me. Look at me when I talk to you. That's what you said to me. All right, that was Use It or Lose It. Very much jazz influenced. I like this. It's a good song to open a record for sure. And again, we're gonna continue now with song number two, but so far so good. Use It or Lose It. Uh, very happy and some anecdotes as well. Let's continue. This Love of Mine coming up now. Okay, completely different approach now, which is good. First contrast, second song, interesting. Love of mine makes my heart sing. This love of mine. I love the way he's playing it with his uh, voice. Or precious sparkling stones that make a man a king. Yeah, he has that storytelling um, voice. A bit like Cohen, of course, not as deep, not as low, uh, but it's really interesting. That is something that definitely is very rare nowadays. So it's a refreshing wind. Let's put it that way. Love of mine. Mm -hmm. Is he speaking of, of music? Hmm. Oh, yeah. This love of mine. Again, there with the low voice. Using the Western acoustic, nice. Nice ending, for sure. That was This Love of Mine, song number two. Let's continue. All right, so, so far, I have a feeling that every song will have a very different approach, and I liked it. I was correct. On old Greenwood Drive playing ball with the guys, Dennis Rich, Robbie, Debbie, and Carl. <laughs> so, what I can hear already out right now after listening to two and a half, maybe three songs now, that he reflects a lot of his, I think, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think he reflects a lot of his, um, you know, past um, memories, past experiences, his life, reflecting it, you know, in a good way, in a very positive way, good memories. I like that. It's always good to. Create something, a piece of art uh, from a very good foundation, from something positive, of course. Of course, you can also do this from something negative and use it as a positive tool to get through the situation. But so far, it just spreads and screams good vibes. Sun's gonna shine every day. It doesn't get more positive than this. Sun is gonna shine every day. 
No complaints, race or hate. Everybody feels great. All in. Everybody, I have not listened to this record. It's just really funny right now and interesting that literally two things that we said already immediately afterwards are being, uh, well, are being approved of. That's really interesting. Everything's paid. When I get to that tabernacle in, they'll be swimming in beer, vodka, and gin. Oh, yeah, sounds like a big party for sure. All right, everybody. That was number three, Tabernacle in. Oh, yeah. Now let's continue with song number four. Oh, what a beautiful girl. Maybe a personal story again. Let's check it out. Not too big, not too small, <laughs> made just right, curves and curls, smile, that lights up my world. And once more, a very positive approach. I love this. I love the vibe, the whole thing that gives me, you know, it's really interesting. Witty, thoughtful, generous, kind, heart of gold, nervous mind. That's a good love letter right there, for sure. I'm realizing that the majority of the songs are very short. Two minutes maximum, two minutes 55. Yeah, that's it actually. The longest song will be the last one with three minutes and 46 seconds. That's pretty interesting. All right, now we got Florida, number six. Ending, days getting shorter, crowds oh. rush to bustling sounds. Maybe the first depressed song? I don't Winter so pretty in New York City. Oh, how I love See the positive town. in everything, exactly. Still have some hunger, ain't getting younger. I'm flying to Florida. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Promise land. I'm leaving for Florida for the fair. I love how off the sun the chorus gets that tropical vibe. This is so fitting. Perfect. Florida. 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 Leaves. It's really interesting. We're gonna summarize the whole record afterwards, but um yeah, it's a good approach for sure. And I love the personal connection to every song. Let's continue number seven. Nobody paints like you. Okay, different usage of instruments now. No song sounds the same. Sun setting, saying goodbye. Nice bridge, nice transition. Let's see. Nobody pays like you. Oh, that was number seven. Nobody pays like you. We got three more songs. Let's check it out because I cannot wait to summarize the whole thing. Here we go. Wish you dare. Song number eight. Okay, a bit more of a rock vibe now. We got some distortion here. And probably also fast paced, yeah. Fortune, good genes, good luck to love, the patience to persevere. This whole record is just spreading. I'm telling you, positivity. You can tell, I mean, he was born in the 50s, but you can tell that um, he still has all those memories. They're very vivid. If you are listening to this review, Vincent, or anybody else that, of course, is familiar with him, let me know if I'm correct here or not. When it comes to art and especially music, there is also the language of emotions. You can just tell somebody's intent. And this is very real here. I love the album cover, by the way. I'm just looking at it right now again. It's so cool. Yeah, a bit of um, Bruce Springsteen right here. The guitar for sure. I wish you dare. Song number eight. 
Number nine coming up now called She Don't Need. Let's see what it is. Here we go. She don't need hmm. French perfume Because she smells so good. Her fragrance calls you like flowers do the exactly. bees. Full of compliments this record. Beautiful. Okay, so this song is the first one that, focus, that is actually focusing way more on the instrumental parts, letting the music speak for itself. I like it. We are right now approaching the 10th song called The Unknown. Title track of the record called The Unknown. Here we go. Well, before we continue, that approach is normally a psychedelic approach. Uh, those scales for sure. Okay. Also, a bit, um, a bit Celtic now. All aboard, buckle up for the ride of your life. Every twist, Definitely. something to learn. What's no Every twist, something to learn. That is really the title of his record, in my opinion. The unknown, everything with a twist, a twist to learn. Yeah, that's the thing, you know, in life, we have to learn everything by ourselves at one point. Of course, we have some people guiding us this way and this way and that way. And we learn it the hard way or the good way or the easy way. But yet it always comes down to your own personal experience and the decisions you are making. So I think this is really the summary of this record uh, so far. Embrace the unknown. You know who I have to think of? The Jim Carrey movie, The Yes Sayer. I think it's I think it's called that way, right? Where he cannot lie, he has to say yes to everything. Um, the root of this movie is similar. It comes, up, it comes from a good couch. standpoint. As the sun goes down, shoes off. Those you love, we appreciate by side. more. It's your tranquil space, saving grace, safe from the world outside. Accordion in the in the background, nice. Welcome home to the unknown. Nice way to end the whole record. And this record is 100% a conceptual record for sure. And also a roller coaster ride of different emotions and different experiences, especially for him. 10 songs, every song completely different, every song targeting something else. But the main key is that's my opinion. But take everything as it is coming. The unknown doesn't necessarily mean something negative or something you need to be scared of. It's all part of life. And then I love the way that he was really just complimenting not just his memories, but actually people in his life, his love. We never know exactly who his love is here. I think, of course, at one point he means the music as well and the, maybe just life in general. Uh, a very artistic approach. The music itself was really suiting exactly what he is trying to bring across. It's a, a messenger. And I think that was really good. The influences, you can definitely hear them out. No uh, questions there. And at the same time, I like the um, implementation of so many different um, instruments making every or giving every song a different identity as it is the case with us having a different identity with every memory. If you agree with me, let me know in the comment section. Until then, stay safe, take care, make sure to reach out to him. Let me know what songs I should review up next or records. Subscribe. Here we go. See you on Discord and on Patreon. Bye bye.